time out. But now you're all in, but all the things are still the same around you. So with all that cut up and with everything, it can uh, make you depressed. Uh, because frustrated within you, because you can't seem to be accessible to the areas that you used to go to. And not only that, then you're bogged down with extra responsibility yes. uh, because you look at your children, or you look at your wife, or you look around the house, there's just more work or more things for you to do. Uh, Food when, on you, the yeah, table. when you go to the yeah. office, maybe some of us who hold mini mm. managerial position, uh, you have people to do things for you. So it's just like a call out, or a phone, or a text, or a Viber, or email, mm. and people do things for you. Um, if you're a worker, uh, you share the load with somebody else there. Mm. But now when you are home, all those work, it comes back to you. So it's no longer uh, somebody that you can just ask to go and do the work for you. You become the person to do the work. And sometimes that um, doesn't help uh, because you cannot handle and you're very impatient and believe that's what caused the differences at home, the yeah. arguments at home, uh, the frustration at home. Uh, you just feel so, you know, uh, depressed. Yeah, depressed. Frustrated. Uh, yeah, and frustrated. Mm -hmm. And then you look around, there's no money. Uh, no you don't food. know what to do. There's yeah. no food. At least when you go, you can choke here, ask for food somewhere there. Somebody opened their lunch, you join there. But now it's all there at home. And these are the contributing factor that is actually affecting your home and creating that uh, domestic violence or domestic abuse uh, at home, that you are just saying things you, which you don't mean. Are you going to be able to do it? Are you going to be able to Frustration. You need just to change the way you look at things. You need to say to yourself, okay, I'm, I'm actually faced with this thing. I, I just need to know how I'm going to deal with this. And allow yourself to change your attitude. So mm -hmm. allow yourself to be the person to change. You cannot change the situation you're looking at. We cannot go to the Ministry of Health or tell the government, look, don't do that thing because I'm actually losing my job. Or don't do the lockdown because I'll be cut up at home. Or don't do that. We, we cannot do that. It's a directive and everybody needs to do it. You just need to learn on how to change the way you're going to look at things. It's going to be the new normal. Uh, things that you never used to do before, you will do now you will, we will need to do it. Yeah. And I'll go back to the couple. Um, we can You know, like um, you're sitting in a managerial position. Um, I'll continue to say that because I have issues uh, way back with the ladies that are actually texting some uh, to work in the island resort uh, then, and uh, these texts for prayers, uh, prayers like uh, you know, pray for me. I'm actually working with my husband on the same uh, hotel in the island. We are given the quarters. We're staying here. Uh, we have two little children. But when I come to the office, when we when we at home, we are totally different person because we're husband and wife. But when we come to the hotel, we have the place that we work in. Um, you know, we have different people around us. And then she said, "My, I'm, I'm sharing these experiences or this uh, a testament of people who have shared, uh, just for you to gauge the level that I'm trying to share with you." Because you may be saying, "Okay, you know, she's actually." talking about something that doesn't make sense to me. I'm sharing it because it has happened and you can identify with it if it's happening to you in a smaller scale or bigger scale that you're going through. And um, she actually uh, texted and then she said, when I come to the office, she's actually one of the managers and I'm, I, we belong to two different departments. But all the time as I walk in, uh, I always see his secretary in, in his office. And, and she said, every time I walk in, uh, he belittles me in front of his secretary. And every time I come in, uh, even to see him uh, on a personal note or family note, the secretary continues to sit uh, uh, inside the office. And when she was sharing that, she said, uh, please pray for my relationship or pray for my family because my children are actually, you know, too small and I can't afford to have anything happen to my family. Well, that's one of the issues. And that's one of, the, you know, them, uh, the prayer item, which I will bring to our sharing today because we're actually talking about the couples. And uh, if you are uh, one of those managers that actually, you know, just to call away or intercom away or yell out from your office and call out to your secretary who does everything for you, make your tea or even then, sometimes the wives or the husband or vice versa. You can be a manager, a male, or you can be a manager as a female, female. and you have